After I turned 25, I needed to be under my own health care. I went through my employer, which only offered high deductible insurance policies. The same medication that I had been paying for 20 to $25 now cost an upwards of $600 a month for a 30-day supply. I couldn't afford it. I had to think about, well, what are some creative alternatives? And that included me cutting the recommended dosage in half. I remember I went maybe about two to three weeks without taking my medicine because I was waiting for my paycheck to come. And that was some of the most painful experiences of my adult life. Ultimately, it felt punitive. It felt like, hey, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I went to college, I have a job, I'm paying for healthcare, so why can't I actually afford medication for a condition that I never actually be diagnosed with? The different resources and supplemental aid to help with medication, I think is very hit or miss. There can sometimes be prescription-related coupons that will lessen the cost out of pocket. But then you find yourself, once that coupon expires a month or two or three months later, still having to pay whatever that ballooned cost is going to be. Those programs don't always cover a deductible. That deductible can range anywhere from $500 to thousands of dollars. All of us are human. We all should be treated in a equitable way, regardless of whatever our social economic background is. And I think that starts with companies to be held accountable. Coupons should be accepted as they're intended to cover any and all costs. Treating patients isn't just giving them medicine, it's also making sure that these people can maintain their dignity and maintain their quality of life. I'm Joshua Denton, and this is A Real Picture of Health.